Born in Indianapolis, Ron Miles grew up in Denver. His mother signed him up for trumpet lessons at age 11, and his infatuation with jazz took off when he joined East High School's jazz band, playing with classmate and sax player Don Cheadle, class of 1982. With coaching from East band teacher Jerry Noonan, Miles quickly rose to stardom in Denver's high school all-city jazz combo. Miles would spend many evenings at El Chapultepec, the Denver Jazz Institution that showcased many national acts. He would also attend concerts at the Paramount Theater, hosted by Dick Gibson, who would bring in his favorite musicians to play. Among them was the legendary Clark Terry, and Miles got a scholarship to go to his jazz camp in Emporia, Kansas. He studied music at the University of Denver and won the International Trumpet Guild Solo Competition in 1984. Miles went on to the Manhattan School of Music, and John Wilson, jazz critic for the New York Times, praised him in a review of the Manhattan School Band's performance at the Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival. He also studied with renowned trumpeter Lester Bowie. He received his master's from the University of Colorado. Growing up in Colorado gave Miles an open-minded view on a broad array of musical styles, and he absorbed everything from folk to funk to pop music. He fashioned an inclusive viewpoint to find his own singular voice on the horn, blending classical technique and jazz tradition to explore avant-garde sensibilities. As time went on, Miles hooked up with people outside of academia. He started constructing a resume with the Boulder Creative Music Ensemble, a small, outside-leaning jazz group directed by saxophonist Fred Hess. He played with the Bruce Odlin Big Band and appeared at local clubs with the Jazz Worms, a mainstream group. In 1992, Miles began playing with the Duke Ellington Orchestra under Duke's son, Mercer. Building on the recognition he received from his time with the Ellington Band, two years later, he joined a European tour with master jazz guitarist Bill Frizzell, who also grew up in the Rockies, and called Miles to complete his new band, the Bill Frizzell Quartet. After hearing Miles play, veteran rock jazz drummer and polo enthusiast Ginger Baker tapped him to serve as musical director and arranger for his postmodern aggregation, the DJQ20, the Denver Jazz Quintet to Octet, a unit of jazz musicians known to play following Baker's matches at the Mile High Polo Club in Parker. Miles' compositions anchored Baker's Coward of the County, recorded at Colorado Sound Recording in 1999. Miles displayed his expanding vocabulary leading ensembles featuring Hess and drummer Bruno Koch, and with a series of well-received solo releases for the Gramavision label through the 1990s. In 2000, the Ron Miles Trio showcased his adventurous touch in a chamber setting with Denver jazz fixtures Eric Gunnison on piano and Kent McLaughlin on bass. He worked on dozens of projects for artists as diverse as clarinetist Don Byron, violinist Jenny Scheinman, guitarist Charlie Hunter, vocalist Madeline Peru, and Denver-based drummer Rudy Royston. Since their first collaboration in the mid-1990s, Miles and the like-minded Frizzell developed a close musical partnership for a number of recordings and live performances. Both embraced Western Americana and revered understatement. In 2002, the pair joined forces on Heaven, an intimate array of duets. For recent recordings as a leader, Miles teamed up with Frizzell and drummer Brian Blade, releasing two discs, the first time he'd recorded with the same group twice. Three of the tunes on Quiver were recorded live at Dazzle, a popular Denver jazz club. Circuit Rider, also recorded in Denver, peaked at number 46 on Billboard's Jazz Albums chart in 2014. Miles long played instruments by David Monette, a noted designer of trumpets and mouthpieces, including the Sattva, a specially commissioned brushed gold Monette trumpet in G that allowed him to explore extended sonic techniques. Just getting together with people and figuring out how to make music, Miles spread the gospel of jazz around the world, playing in venues across Europe and Asia. But the most important audiences to Miles were local. 
Since 1998, he has balanced his recordings and performances with his career as an educator at Denver's Metropolitan State College, where he coordinates the jazz studies program and heads up the student jazz ensembles. For over a decade, Miles freely shared his musical voice by hosting Metro's annual jazz celebration, which features more than 1,000 high school music talents from throughout Colorado.